Theon Paul. Theon Paul, born 1980, is an Icelandic explorer, athlete and artist, who holds the world's second highest number of Guinness World Records within one discipline, 30 total, 23 performance-based, as of 2018, after Michael Phelps, 26, 24, followed by Roger Federer, 27, 22. He is known for being the fastest ocean rower, 2016, and the most record-breaking ocean rower, 2017, one of the most record-breaking explorers, adjudicated 2018, and one of the most record-breaking athletes, breaking a total of 34 records during his sports and explorations career, including 24 performance-based Guinness World Records within one singular sport. Fionn is the holder of many of the highest honors in the ocean rowing history, which include the world's highest number of Guinness titles of world's first, nine, known also as historical firsts, typically awarded by Guinness for explorations, such as first to row four oceans, first to hold current speed records on all four oceans, and first to row some of the northernmost Nordic seas. As of 2018 equally high number of world's firsts is held by Reinhold Messner, 9. He was the captain of the most record-breaking expedition in history, stroke of the fastest boat in ocean rowing history and stroke of the overall speed record-breaking crossings of each ocean. His achievements critically contributed to Iceland becoming the holder of the world's highest sports Guinness World Records number per capita. As of 2018 his records constitute 68% of the total number of Icelandic sports Guinness World Records. Sports Speed Records Fionn has crossed all four oceans in an unsupported and unassisted man-powered rowboat with world record-breaking speed, setting the overall speed records for the Atlantic, Indian, Pacific, and Arctic Ocean. Background. Fionn was introduced to ocean rowing in 2007 while working for Swedish charity Chip Ramba Foundation coaching athletes in Africa. 2011. In 2011 Fionn acted as a stroke of Sarah G which earned the title of the fastest boat in ocean rowing history, established an overall speed record for the Atlantic Ocean and won the Blue Ribbon Trophy of Ocean Rowing. The Atlantic trade wins I is the most competitive ocean rowing route sought by rowing legends, such as James Cracknell OBE, and endurance athletes such as Mark Beaumont Bem. The level of challenge for the crossing was multiplied by a broken center board, that broke less than halfway across the expedition. The story was portrayed in a movie One Ocean, No Limits which was broadcast by Irish National TV. 2014, Two Oceans in 2014 Fionn became the first person to simultaneously hold overall speed records for the fastest rowing across two oceans, Atlantic and Indian. Throughout his career Fionn broke four oars. Three were destroyed in maritime storms and the fourth was shattered during an evacuation mission on the Indian Ocean aboard Avalon, when a tanker, Nordic River arrived to save an injured crew member, yet began to pull the small craft disastrously into its propeller, five times the height of the boat itself. The oar broke in Fionn's hands while pushing the rower's boat away from the tanker, saving the crew from collision, as the crew radioed the tanker to cut its engines just in time. In addition to another collision, this time with a blue whale, the critical steering cable broke, which forced the crew to manually steer the boat, thereby reducing the rowing deck to two rowers per shift, half of what it is designed for. Finally, after sustaining injuries passing through a hurricane, the crew narrowed down to only three rowers in total, 1.5 per shift, who had to power a two-ton heavy boat designed to be rowed by eight. The incomplete crew had to row two, 40 hours on, one, 20 hours off shifts instead of the standard two hours, two hours pattern in order to maintain their course. This extreme challenge put crew members into a lengthy delirium, lasting many days due to severe exhaustion and sleep deprivation. 2016, Three Oceans In 2016 he became the only rower ever to achieve all three overall speed records, Atlantic, Indian, Mid-Pacific, and the only rower to hold all three records simultaneously. Upon this achievement, he was awarded by Guinness World Records the title of the first person to hold simultaneous overall speed records for ocean rowing all three oceans, one of the highest honors in the history of ocean rowing. Of significance is the fact that Fionn achieved three overall speed records in purely man-powered boats against open-class boats, that are advantaged by partly wind-supported designs on a trade winds routes. In a documentary called Corita of the Pacific made by Globo TV, Fionn reported that his total sleep time during the first week was five hours due to strategically attempting to achieve an advantage by racing ahead, as he stated that it was psychologically much easier to win the race from the front. The world record was broken by four days. 
The next boat arrived six days later. Out of 12 boats that announced their participation in the race, only six managed to complete the challenge. 2017, Four Oceans. In 2017 he expanded his title by rowing the Arctic Ocean, becoming the first person to row four oceans and earning the Arctic Ocean overall speed record. In order to receive a permit to row to Svalbard, Fionn needed to apply to the governor of Svalbard, to introduce an evaluation of the chances and the team's ability to accomplish the expedition. Fionn estimated an average speed for the expedition of 2.7 knots. The governor's representative declared the claim a bluff, due to the present Arctic Ocean rowing overall speed record being 0.7 knots and that small sailboats average 4 knots. Thus, they pressed the highest possible insurance bond, which became the biggest element of the expedition budget. The accuracy of the ETA declared by Fionn deviated by 4 hours. As per plan, the rowers flawlessly caught the rising tide of the 108 km long icy fjord off of Long European. The polar row I was the biggest record demolition in the history of ocean rowing, the existing Arctic Ocean record was broken by 3.5 times, despite the polar row I team being buffeted by headwinds 60% of the time. Fionn stated that the headwinds they faced were a validation of our manpower performance. Upon this achievement he received Guinness titles of, first to row four oceans and first to hold current speed records on all four oceans. Other information. Fionn achieved the highest success rate in the history of ocean rowing, measuring the number of attempted speed records to successful expeditions. He was on stroke position for each row, the role that sets the boat's pace. His total effort performed in ocean rowing was compared to consecutively running approximately 300 marathons. In an interview with Washington Times he mentioned that his resting heart rate during off-shift times throughout the record-breaking crossings was 95 BPM, almost twice the normal resting heart rate. His record-breaking performance was listed by Grapevine magazine as one of seven most notable smitings delivered in the history of Icelandic sports. In this act he was suspected of camaraderie with Eitra. Presently, he is one of the world's most accomplished rowers. Despite reaching the top of various ocean rowing statistics, Fionn declared that he perceives the accomplishments of certain past ocean rowers as more admirable than his own, due to their performance taking place in conditions described by the Ocean Rowing Society as not very different from the times of Columbus. Thus, their level of challenge was incomparably higher. That pioneering in explorations Arctic Ocean open waters in 2017, Fionn acted as captain, stroke and head of the project Polar Row, the most record-breaking ocean row and most record-breaking expedition in history over a dozen Guinness World Records. It was the first recorded human-powered expedition and the first recorded row across the Arctic Ocean open waters, within the minimum Guinness World Record criteria, across major water basins above the polar circle from land to land, not around islands, within archipelagos or coastal rows, i.e. not within the vicinity of land nor the possibility to get ashore. Polar row confronted inconsistent wind patterns, diametrically different from the most frequently attempted rows, typical to lower latitudes trade winds routes. The crew used no sails, no engine, nor support other than manpower. The magnitude of the challenge was amplified by the unavoidable slalom between icebergs and drift ice. Encountering ice is not unique to coastal rows on the Arctic Ocean, but was multiple times more difficult for the first historical row in the open waters of the Arctic Ocean, where relatively high swells threaten the highly unmaneuverable rowboat among the drift ice. Prior to Polar Row, non-open waters Arctic Ocean rows and coastal Arctic Ocean rows experienced more static seas and the ability to access land at any moment. Devil's Jaw Polar Row consisted of two teams, Polar Row and Polar Row 2. In total, the teams covered approximately 1,400 nautical miles, 1,611 miles or 2,593 kilometers, 1,250 nautical miles measured in a straight line, 1,440 miles or 2,316 kilometers, across the Arctic Ocean. Polar Row pioneered new ocean rowing routes from Tromsø to Longyearbyen, from Longyearbyen to Arctic Ice Pack, 79 degrees 55 apostrophe 50 n and from ice pack to Jan Mayen. It was the first complete, recorded man-powered crossing of the Barents Sea and of the Greenland Sea, some of the world's northernmost waters, which had long been called by sailors of the past, the Devil's Dance Floor. Upon completion of Polar Roa and arrival to Longyearbyen, Fionn was asked by Norwegian TV2 how a rower would name the Barents Sea. Fionn responded that he would call it Devil's Jaw, adding that the winds you constantly battle are the breath from the Devil's nostrils while he holds you in his jaws. Viking Mark. 
Fion was the first modern-day ocean rower to introduce a system of shifts depending on the mileage mark reached by rowers, instead of the more typically used time mark. This system allows rowers to choose how fast they complete their shift and allows the resting rowers to rest longer if the active shifts are completed with a slower pace. Recently, such a system is credited to be linked to the etymology of the word Viking. Approach When asked what makes one a successful ultra-endurance athlete, Fionn often outlined that love for the adventure is not enough, and that being tough is a must but it is just the foundation. The critical advantage in his opinion is rarely achieved by men today, good understanding of and communication with one's body, a quality often inaccessible to individuals attached to the cliché version of masculinity. Other information Fionn is one of two Icelandic members of the American-based International Multidisciplinary Professional Society, the Explorers Club. He carried the Explorers Club flag to Svalbard, to the Arctic Ice Pack and to Jan Mayen during the Polar Row, the same type of flag that decorated the raft of Thor Heyerdahl during the Kontiki expedition. Art As an artist, Fionn is the author of numerous national-level Icelandic and international exhibitions including several large-scale, outdoor art installations. His work mainly focuses on themes of indigenous people, children, breastfeeding and animal rights. He was one of two authors of Dialogue, an outdoor art installation that spanned two main streets in the heart of the capital city with photographs of Icelandic children, 2008. He was also the author of the project, See It! Promoting the awareness of breastfeeding, an outdoor art installation in downtown Reykjavik at the facade of Street Trig Vagada in 2011. As an artist, Fionn was also involved in supporting the welfare of an endangered local breed of horses unique to the Faroe Islands. As a photographer he also documented many of his expeditions. Since 2009 his Arctic photographs have been on permanent display at the International Terminal of Kulusuk Airport, the main airport of East Greenland. Together with photographs of racks, Fionn's Arctic photographs were selected to represent Greenlandic art at the Arctic Winter Games in Canada, 2012. In 2011 Fionn swam with seals in a freezing pond next to an outdoor display of his photographs at the family garden in Reykjavik. His name was officially added to the seals family list and mentioned along with the other seals on the portal of Reykjavik City. Intersection of Activities On certain occasions, Fionn raised attention not as an athlete or an artist, but as someone uniquely combining different fields of activity. He was featured in a German TV documentary on three sofas as a rare example of a person who achieves notable results in rarely combined disciplines, in this case, sports and art. Once in an interview with Icelandic National TV, Fionn was asked whether ocean rowing was in any way similar to art. Fionn responded affirmatively, adding that they both connect to depth. In this way, Fionn was also referring to his current postgraduate studies of depth psychology. In an international television program, Trans World Sports, he was portrayed as someone active in the fields of art, sports and psychology. He discussed the concept of Aridi, an ancient Greek training of young men into manhood, which included physical, intellectual and artistic training. Aridi emphasized that development in each of these aspects must be present in order to achieve manhood. Public Speaking Since 2017, Fionn has been conducting lectures on the dark side of the hero's journey, detailing the psychological aspects of ultra-endurance sports and the psyche of explorers. Charity and other activities His very first creative project to receive public recognition was a charity event that he organized, in which Fionn collected funds and supervised the construction of a new facility building for Gatchismithion, the Center for Youth at Risk, in Iceland in 2007. In 2011 Fionn and Natalie Caroline founded Fionn Paul Foundation, which built a primary school in the Himalayas in 2013. The school educates 150 pupils per year. The project demonstrates two of his main academic interests, architecture and pedagogy. Fionn holds a master's degrees in each discipline. In addition to his formal education, Fionn spent two years in the Himalayas and one and a half years in the remote parts of Greenland. He considers this time as transformational periods in his life. Presently, Fionn is pursuing postgraduate-level studies in depth psychology. He is undergoing training to become a Jungian analyst at the C.G. Jung Institute in Zurich. His main focus in the field of depth psychology is manhood archetypes. He has conducted multiple lectures and workshops in different parts of the world. Personal life Fionn chooses to consume no alcohol. The only meat present in his diet is a fish origin, 
as he states that fish are the only animals he could handle killing by himself. He is also known for eating raw eggs, instead of protein shakes after training. His favorite places in Reykjavik are Nathalsvik and Arbe Harlock where his personalized outdoor workout is a major part of his daily training routine. Throughout his career Fion has mentioned only one coach, Igla Rose Agnar's daughter, in an interview conducted in 2017. Honors Performance-based Guinness World Records Guinness World's Firsts World's First is the highest form of Guinness World Record, the ownership of this title never expires. Performance Guinness World's Firsts Pioneering and Explorations Guinness World's Firsts Guinness Mosts Accumulative Guinness World Records for total number of accomplishments in ocean rowing Overall Speed Guinness World Records Multiple speed records exist on each ocean for different routes, classes and categories. The overall speed record however, is the highest type of speed record there is. Other Speed Guinness World Records Geographical Guinness World Records Latitude records can only be claimed within the expedition that meets the ocean rowing criteria of minimum distance covered. Dot. Latitude Guinness World Records Longest Distance Guinness World Records Ocean Rowing World Records Other World Records Other Honors Statistical Facts As of 2018 his records constitute the majority of Icelandic sports Guinness World Records, 68% or 30 of 44 in total 68% of Icelandic personal Guinness World Records, 30 of 44 in total, and 30% of the total number of Icelandic Guinness World Records, 30 of 99 including Iceland's records for natural phenomenons and geography. Other major holders of Icelandic sports Guinness World Records are Animist Thoris Dodor, 3, and Hafthor Julius Björnsson, 4. Record-breaking routes, 4. Record-breaking routes, 4. Record